So, they released Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, and with it, one fan theory that was going around was confirmed. The theory that the film would try to deal with Peter's identity reveal at the end of Spider-Man Far From Home by erasing everyone's memories of such information. The trailer has Peter asking Doctor Strange for help to try to erase the knowledge of his identity from people to try to better his own and his friends' and family's lives. Then Doctor Strange performs the spell, but Peter messes it up by not shutting up, which causes the spell to go wrong and putting our of time and space at risk. Now, even if you disregard how stupid it is that Peter didn't ask how the spell properly worked before Strange started performing it, and the fact that the spell wouldn't even be needed in the first place because the events of the previous film make it really easy to make Mysterio's case about Peter's identity not being reliable, and prove Mysterio was the one behind the drones attacking London. We still come to the fact that Peter decided to go ask Strange to help manipulate billions of people and erase memories and mess with their brains. I shouldn't have to explain why this is a terrible thing Peter is doing, and also character assassination, but it seems like quite a few people don't understand how terrible this is for Peter's and Strange's characters. So let's begin. People's personalities and identities are a product of their experiences. There are certain traits people have that occur due to their genetics, but what composes someone's way of acting around people, interacting with the world, relies on the experiences they've lived through since they were born. With that in mind, it's quite easy to understand why erasing someone's memories is a terrible thing. You're erasing part of their identity, you're erasing part of who they are. Let's use a few examples to make this clearer. Gamora in the MCU is a character who has had a relationship with Peter Quill in both Guardians of the Galaxy films, which led her to fall in love with him, such relationship being pivotal to the plot of Avengers Infinity War. <laughs> Travels between timelines in Avengers Endgame, and shows up to the final battle of that film. When she meets Peter, she doesn't instantly love him, she doesn't even like him, she just kicks him in the balls. This version of Gamora is the same one we knew from the previous films, but she doesn't have any memories from the beginning of the first Guardians of the Galaxy film onwards, thus changing the way she acts towards Peter and her relationship with him now the relationship being non-existent, which just shows she's a pretty much new, different person than she was compared to Avengers Infinity War. Different experiences means different person, different identity, different personality. Another example is Legion. Go to this timestamp to avoid spoilers for Season 2 of Legion, by the way. On Episode 11 of Season 2 of Legion, after Sid is convinced by Amal Farouk that David is evil and will destroy the world, and after she is stopped from killing David, David uses his psychic powers to erase Sid's memories of her conversation with Farouk in the previous episode, thus erasing from her mind the fact that David will end the world, and how much Sid had come to hate David since the last episode. With that, we later have a scene where David creates a projection of himself and goes into Sid's room and has sex with her. She's acting a bit strange since the incident of her shooting him, but she still has sex with him, and she says she loves him during it. After Farouk finds a way of breaking Sid out of David's trick, David is trapped by Sid, Farouk, and Division 3, and Sid confronts David about what he did. David, you drugged me? and had sex with me trying to show David the terrible thing he did. By erasing Sid's memories, he took her consent away because, under normal circumstances, Sid would not have had sex with David, meaning that David essentially raped her. Of course, it doesn't mean Peter Parker is doing anything as bad as raping someone, but the idea that he's erasing people's memories regarding a certain thing means that he's messing with their personalities, their choices, and their identity as people, something that could actually lead to a bunch of different outcomes for the people whose minds Peter messed with that he just can't control anymore, and all because he wants to erase their memories for selfish reasons. Peter isn't doing this just to save these people, nor is he doing it to help them. At most, he's doing it to help his friends, but also to help himself, which is something extremely selfish to do when he takes part of people's identities and their consent of losing those memories away. In short, Peter and Doctor Strange doing this is extremely out of character for them. When Peter's whole thing is trying to help people and fight for the little guy, Doctor Strange is made to protect people of Earth, but is instead hurting them, and also putting all of reality at risk, just to help this kid he barely knows with a very dangerous spell that he's never used before. Arrogance and fear still keep you from learning the simplest and most significant lesson of all. Which is? It's not about you. He had a choice. To return to his own life, or to serve something greater than himself. So I could have my hands back again. My old life. You could. And the world would be all the lesser for it. You and me, trapped in this moment, Endlessly. Then you will spend eternity dying. Yes. But everyone on Earth will live. But you will suffer. Pain's an old friend. Under no circumstances can we bring the Time Stone to Thanos. I don't think you quite understand what? what's at stake no. here. So I'm not so sure if it's a better plan to fight him on our turf or his, but you saw what they did, what they can do. All right, Stark. 
we go to him. But you have to understand, if it comes to saving you or the kid or the time stone, I will not hesitate to let either of you die. I can't, because the universe depends on it. We tampered with the stability of space time. Not to mention how stupid it is that Doctor Strange doesn't even tell Peter how the spell is gonna work before he starts doing it. Not to mention that Doctor Strange would never put the entire world at risk, simply because this kid wants his life to be slightly better for himself and his friends. Don't cast that spell. It's too dangerous. This is a baffling decision by Marvel and I find it impressive how all of Phase 4 films and shows have destroyed their characters with making them morally reprehensible without even realizing it. They'll never know what you sacrificed for them. So yeah, that was the video. I know it's a lot different from what I usually cover, but I thought the topic was worth talking about considering most people have not mentioned how terrible Peter's and Doctor Strange's actions are in that trailer already, which is not a great sign for the film. But now I'll get back to working on my other bigger videos. If you want to support the channel, there's a donation link in the description and a Patreon link, so thanks for watching. Goodbye.